Peace, peace, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day full of love. I wanted to make this video today because I was going through some old notes I had made on my phone and I found one that talked about the five elements of hip hop and how they can apply to self-development in life. So I want to just touch base on that and hear your thoughts about it. Let me know what you think about in the comments below. Thank you so much. Five elements of hip hop. A lot of people talk about the four elements of hip hop. DJing, MCing, graffiti, b-boying hip hop isn't just hip hop culture or rap music hip hop is a way of life professor griff refers to the hip hop as an acronym higher infinite power healing our people if you look at energy in the way that energy is all vibration when we speak and when we use thought those are all vibrations so hip hop is encompassing a part of life. How to use the five elements of hip hop for self improvement. Number one, DJing. DJing is very interesting in the way it was developed. If you think about something like a drum circle, even when people join in, they have the certain patterns, certain sounds. You have to listen to it. You have to make sure that your music's gonna be in sync. So when you're transitioning from one track to another, you wanna make sure that it's very fluid. The way I look at DJing when I think about it, it is also you're syncing up hemispheres of your brain. So in this equation, imagine that turntable one is one side of your brain, the left side of your brain, and turntable two is the right side of your brain. And then you have your switcher in between. So you can go from dominating and thinking and acting upon your life and finding that balance between the left and the right side. So it's about syncing the hemispheres of your brain. When you sync the hemispheres of your brain, you come into a state known as flow. Ironically, talking about hip hop, we're gonna be talking about flow states. Flow states is gonna be when you are in the zone. So when an athlete or performer talks about being in the zone, they're talking about being in that flow state when their hemispheres of their brains are in sync. So they don't have to worry about trying to think something. It's just naturally flowing. I compare it to a river when you see a stream of water, for example, flowing towards a river, you notice that it's just flowing. There's nothing in its way. You know, imagine if you're presenting to somebody or you're talking to somebody and you're thinking about all these different things, those are rocks that's preventing the flow of the water. But when you're in the flow state, those rocks are gone. It's a very clear path allowing you to just flow that energy precisely. So DJing has a lot to do with balance, meaning that you want to make sure when you're cutting, scratching, mixing, you're bringing everything together so it sounds good to the ear. You want to have a good balance so you don't want something to feel off, like the energy's off. For example, when you meet somebody, you can tell if the energy is a little bit off, if there's not a good balance between you two, being receptive to these kinds of things. So having that balance between your energy, between the people in your life, you find yourself getting too upset or anxious or depressed or worrying or lacking focus, it's time to regain the balance. Regain the balance in your energy, in your motivation, in your thoughts, regaining that balance so like you're DJing your life imagine that you're mixing you're mastering your life you're bringing balance from one side of your brain to the other side of your brain by mixing those records together to create this masterpiece which is the mix of your life so if you can find balance in life you'll find a good groove if you're ever at a party and the DJ's whack then you'll notice that the groove and the balance isn't really there people aren't really dancing they may not even be looking like they're having a good time, but when the song is jamming, when the DJ knows how to feel the crowd, bring the energy there, balance is very important. I'm sure y'all can agree. And DJing is just an essential part as a reflection of life and how you can find balance in your life by syncing up your hemispheres, bringing that balance in your energy and being able to balance different aspects of your higher self and your lower self in your life as well. MCing. Yo, 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 mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two, mic check, mic check. MCing is a wonderful thing because, I mean, who doesn't love a performer, right? I've seen some amazing performances in my life and when a performer is capturing that energy on stage, nothing quite beats that energy that they're feeling and they're also translating through the crowd. 
am seeing has a lot to do with communication. So when we talk about communication in life, it's going to be about internal communication and external communication. So for example, people talk about, oh, I want to be a better communicator. I know that's something I want to work on myself, but being a better communicator isn't just about how you talk to other people and how other people understand you. It's about how you understand yourself. So the story that you tell yourself is going to have a lot to do with what type of life you're living and how you're living life. So for example, if you say, man, why did these things always happen to me? Or, oh, of course that happened to me. That's just the way life goes for me. No, you know what? You got to change that. You're MCing yourself. You're being a whack MC, son. So you got to flip that. You know, if you want to be a legit MC for your life, you got to command your stage. Life is your stage. Your crowd is the whole world is your audience, nature, the people around you. You have to take control of how you MC your life, the vibrations that you put out there, both mentally and with your vocal, and also the action that you take. Communication, internal and external. You say to yourself, what can I learn from this experience that just happened to me? How can I use this experience to empower myself so that this type of thing does not happen to me again? Ask yourself quality questions, MC internally and externally. When you're communicating with other people, figure out ways to understand people better. Because if you don't understand your audience, then whatever your message is could go in one ear and out the other. If you're trying to talk about gangster rap at a country music festival, you may not be understanding your audience, so you may not be able to relate to them. But if you can relate to them, then you can tap into a part of themselves and understand them better. Communication is about understanding people. So if I can understand you better, then I'll know how to communicate better. Shh. Graffiti. Self-expression. So graffiti, street art, spray can, aerosol. That's an amazing thing. Uh, graffiti has been around for millennia. So think about cave paintings when ancestors would take for example berries in their mouth put their hands on a cave and spit it and then you have a stencil right there with your body your hand so being able to express ourselves through art has been around for a long time so this is a very crucial part of the elements of hip-hop all the elements are very crucial this one is crucial for our self-expression because it can be very therapeutic as a tool. So, for example, we've talked about MCing, We've talked about DJing to bring balance. These things are great and they can be applied to many aspects of our lives on many different parallels. But the part about graffiti being self-expression, it could be a very therapeutic tool to be able to balance other parts of our lives and maybe we feel aren't there. So... Let's say, for example, that you want to be a better communicator. Being able to find an outlet to express yourself creatively will help with that. Something that you can work on expressing yourself in a positive manner. One thing that's amazing about graffiti is that you're bringing in a higher dimension into a lower dimension. So we're taking the dimension of thought, of mind, and bringing it into this dimension, a tangible, three-dimensional place. So you could take a thought and translate it into art and then you have literally taken something from a higher dimension and brought it into this dimension. So people talk about dimensional travel as something that's very sci-fi. When you think about it on that level, it's a very doable thing. It's something that happens every day. It's not a very far off and millions of light years away. It's happening every second of every day. You're taking thoughts and you're bringing them into this reality. Look around you if you have a hard time believing that. Look at the car that you're driving, the clothes that you're wearing. Everything around you has been a thought before it has become a reality. Self-expression, graffiti, shh, being in the moment. So being in the moment is something that's nice because it helps you relax. It brings you into the awareness of yourself, of your energy, breathing. It's a very meditative practice to be in the moment. So one of the most popular books has actually been adult coloring books on Amazon. So being in the moment where you're coloring, you're being in that zone, you're expressing yourself artistically. That's why art is a great way to have therapy. Art therapy, you could do art in many other ways, whether it's written, whether it's verbal, 
whether you want to paint something. So find a way to express yourself creatively and it'll help you balance other aspects of your life. In this case, the hip hop element is graffiti, but you can use that to apply to different elements of your life as well. B-Boy, what up bro? So B-Boy, this is a pretty amazing element. I think it's pretty epic. Uh, Professor Griff, I saw him talk about how the body is moving in sacred geometric forms if you track it, which is pretty neat to think about. When someone see someone spinning on the ground or someone's moving around in different movements, you know, bring it back with a little bit of a robot, things like that. This is a way to get your physiology involved. So if you are experiencing something like you're having a bad day, depression, anxiety, you're in a mind state that isn't serving you, Check your physiology of your body. Are you sitting up straight? Are you using shallow breathing? B-boying is the physical manifestation. So we're talking about the element that has to do with our physicality. So how we express ourselves mentally, bring into an artistic form from a higher dimension, but then we're expressing ourselves with our body. Positive things of b-boying are gonna be that you have freedom, you have self-expression, the fact that you're moving your body, you're getting your blood pumping, your lymph moving, a lot of positive things when you get the body moving, you know, it builds energy, you get momentum going. And it also gives you that sense of freedom, you know, being in that movement, having the physiology, your confidence, having more confidence is gonna to lead to you taking action or be willing to take more action and take more risk in your life because you have confidence that you'll be able to do things and accomplish more tasks. B-boying is an amazing thing because of that. It talks about action. It talks about an art form. The way you move, the way you talk, the way you take action in your life, all of this is an art form. You're creating a masterpiece when you're living your life. What kind of masterpiece do you want to live behind? I know I'm growing a lot and I'm learning every day about realizing that I want to do more in my life every day. I'm like, I need to do more. These things are in the back of my mind. I need to accomplish more things because if you've been blessed with the ideas and the creative insight, it's up to you to bring that to fruition, to bring that into this dimension, to bless the world with these gifts that you are being bestowed upon. Thank you guys for listening. This has been the five elements of hip hop for life. So how you can apply the five elements of hip hop for life. And the fifth element, one of, that encompasses all of the elements in one, is going to be knowledge. Knowledge. Not just picking up a book or encyclopedia or learning stuff through Google, but applying yourself. Having the knowledge not of things, but knowledge of yourself as well. If you don't have the knowledge of yourself, it's going to be hard to move forward because if you don't know yourself, you don't know how to move forward. It's almost like playing a game, and if you don't know what's in front of you, like a game of chess, then you're not gonna know what your next move is gonna be. If you're not able to see what is going on in the game of chess, how are you supposed to make a smart decision about your next move? Knowledge. Knowledge and taking action. Not just having the knowledge, but also taking the action. So we've talked about DJing. We've talked about MCing. We've talked about graffiti, we've talked about b-boying, and we've talked about knowledge. Five elements of hip hop and how you can apply them towards your life for better self-development. Peace, peace, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I wish you the best and have a happy day full of love. Peace.